Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Um, everybody, it's your girl, Coach Sabina. And um, in this video, I'm just showing you guys some sea moss that I have um, washed, soaked, and placed in this meal prep container. It was about a half a pound when I started it close to two months ago. And um, it's still good. My refrigerator is a nice cold fridge. I didn't have to place this all the way in the back. I placed it closer to the front. And I did all of that for a reason because I like to do experiments with these things just to see how resilient that they are. And I must say that this sea moss is, sea moss itself is very resilient. Um, it's very um, strong. It's preserved on its own as long as it has like a little bit of a water source. Because when I took, I say that because when I, when I, strained it from the water and placed it in its container it was still some water in the container maybe like you know like right to there or something and then um so as you can see as it went down because i've been pulling from this for our smoothies every time i come back in town and as you can see they have is turning into gel right on you know right is I mean right at itself it's just like turning into gel all by itself without me blending it or anything so it's just getting to know your your foods that you have and knowing how um, powerful that they are and and how preserved that they are if this thing is preserving like this, this is living food that means it's going to preserve you the same way this it's um, able to preserve itself and survive in that way it's just gonna live in you and um, it also shows me that sea moss doesn't go bad as quickly as they say. Like it's a general rule that sea moss, um, you know, um, that you have to use it up, sea moss gel before three weeks. Um, this has been two months that I've been working with the sea moss. It's been turning into gel on its own and um, it's fine. It smells good. It still has that uh, crisp sea air type of smell to it. Um, and it uh, is there's no molding or anything on it. See, like when people tell me that if, if I've only ever had one person tell me this though, wallahi, I only had one person come to me one time uh, recently and tell me that the sea moss was molded. And my thing to them was that you did not take it home and put it in the fridge, or somebody took it out and had it sitting out and then put it back in the fridge, or um, you had it, it was hot in the car. You know what I mean? And you didn't you didn't refrigerate it or something. Something went wrong in there. Um, and um, and also too, I should add that that particular CMOS at that time was also, um, I, I believe that they had like, um, it was like a, a blend of either lemon or ginger. I don't sell too many blends and different blends of fruits or anything, but those fruits and stuff are very, I like lemon and ginger blends because they are very preserving to the food as well. And not only that, no one has ever come to me and told me that anything has gone molded before. And I use, the, you know, it's all kinds of, you know, things of this. And I also use, um, do this in small batches. I never make large batches of sea moss gel. I always make small batches, whatever that half of a pound can make or whatever. And then when that runs out, I make more, you know, because I don't want to be stuck with product and, um, you know, and, and all of the above. So it's always in very small batches. So if, you, if your sea moss is molding, um, something in has um, something or someone has not placed it in the refrigeration in the right amount of time, or it has been left out for a long period of time. Um, I've heard all kinds of stories um, of, or well, I've had situations. I've had situations where, um, especially when I was living with my family, my dad. Um, where they may have taken something out, taken the sea moss out, set it out, um, and then placed it back in the fridge after realizing, oh crap, I, I left all these things out and then placed it back in the fridge. But even with that, I never had anything to go bad, you know, but sea moss, like anything else, can, can go bad. But this is a proof that it has to go a long, long way before it does go bad. And I'll show you another experiment that we're doing too. Anything that's left over, just don't even look at my stove right now. Anything that is left over on my hands, trust me, I'm gonna put it on my face. <laughs> if I don't eat it, it's going on my face. All right, so in my freezer right here, 
this is frozen sea moss. I'm doing another experiment. I've frozen it right in its form, and um, it's been in there for a couple of weeks, maybe longer. And when I pull it out again, I'll close that later. When I pull it out again, I'm going to see if um, when I when I thaw it out, if it is um just like this like you know if it's still going to hold on just like this and i do these experiments and stuff like that so that i'll know the full extent of how i can use cmos and that i'm running a business so i can help others um who uh to know what to do with their cmos and this place that back in there and so on i'm going to take this right here and I'm gonna place it in my smoothie. And it spills some gel right there. Boop. And I would place the whole thing in there because I want the whole thing, but I just wanna, I'm still doing my experiment and I wanna see um, in a couple of weeks, when, I, when the next time I come back, if this is still smelling as crisp and good as um, it is now. And um, it hasn't changed in smell or color or anything from the day um, that I placed it in here. So yeah, that's all for me. Um, just wanted to share some CMOS information and I hope that you found this video beneficial and useful for you and your family. Um, and I look forward to seeing you um, at my shop the next time we're in town or in your town, right? So, and until our next talk, this is Coach Sabina signing off. Be healthy, be well, be you.